What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. A bunch of you guys have been asking one question on one of my previous videos and that video is a day in the life of an oil field hotshot. The question you guys are asking is how do you get started as a hotshot? Now I am no professional advice giver, but I'm going to do my best to tell you guys how to get started as a hotshot. Let's go. Alright guys, so I know it seems like it's all puppies and rainbows hauling in the gas field and driving like that and doing hotshot stuff, but it's honestly not. There's a huge process. I've been in the gas field since I was 18 or 19, so I've been going on I'm so I'm going on a lot of years in in and out and around the gas field, um, learning the process and going through the whole situation. Um, so the very first thing you're gonna need to do before you do anything, before you think about getting a truck, a trailer, any type of equipment or even starting to call places to maybe hire you, you have to have your CDL, commercial driver's license. I have my class A. I got my CDL when I was 18 years old. Yes, I know that's super young. Um, and I was only limited to drive in the state of Pennsylvania. I couldn't cross state lines. So the very first thing you need to do is go get your CDL class A. Don't waste your time with class B. Um, everything you're gonna haul, you have to have the versatile option of the combination over 26,000 pounds. Um, so when I got my license when I was 18, I immediately went into the gas field. I started hauling for Select Energy Service. Um, I don't, I don't see them around too too much anymore. I think they mainly do now, like water transfer stuff. But I got started with Select Energy Service, driving a big rig, 18 wheeler. Um, hauling pipe and stuff from pad to pad. I was in the construction phase of it so what we were doing was we were piping in the pad after the holes were drilled and after it was fracked. We were piping from the actual wellhead itself to the separators and dump lines and dump tanks and going to at the actual pipeline hookup. So all that stuff in there is what we were doing and I would haul equipment and pipe. You know, once we'd finish this pad, we'd haul it to the next pad. That would be me. I, I would haul back and forth and around. I'd go pick up new supplies, new pipe here, fittings there, um, different pieces of equipment back from the shop or whatever. I was just, I was just a driver. I, I hauled all that stuff. Um, I did that for several years and I gained a whole bunch of experience um, driving in the gas field. Now keep in mind I couldn't cross state lines so I was limited. Any time that we were working out of state or anything like that I couldn't drive. I would just have to be a laborer. But that's where I started and I gained a whole bunch of experience and I bumped around after there to several other companies also using my CDL. So the very first step, get your CDL Class A. Okay, so looking at this in a big picture, my number one piece of advice for you guys out there, if you are really dead set on starting into the hotshot world, I would recommend going to work for someone who has a hotshot company. Go drive their truck, go drive their equipment, use their money, show up with yourself and your CDL and drive their stuff. Learn the whole industry, figure out if you even like it. I, I can't tell you enough how many people I've seen spend all their money on a truck and a trailer thinking they're gonna be this hotshot driver and they completely hate it or they don't get the work, they don't get the right stuff and now they're stuck with, a, with all this debt for a truck and a trailer trailer that they can't use. So they're sitting on that payment, they're sitting on that debt, and they're not working, they're not making money with that truck. So guys, if you really want to get into this industry and you know nothing about it, go work for a hotshot company. Simply go on Google and type in hotshot companies. There's general freight hotshot companies, there's oil field hotshot companies, and call them and see if they're offering any positions. If you don't even have your CDL yet, possibly call them and say, hey, I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to drive with you, will you get me my CDL? Will you assist me in getting my CDL? They might do that, I don't know, I don't know what kind of position they're in for drivers, but just do your research, call these companies, work for them, figure out if it's for you or not, figure out if you even like it. Now here is a little piece of advice that you might not want to hear. Do not, I repeat, do not put all of your eggs in the oil field basket. 
Um, anyone in the oil and gas field will 100% tell you that. Keep yourself open to any kind of driving. So whether it's oil field experience or regular driving experience, go get some experience. Because driving in the gas field is honestly pretty intense. I mean, you're driving on super tight back roads. You have to navigate the pads that are out in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's just not for the entry level driver, in my opinion. Other people might tell you different things. I know the company that I am leased on with needs at the minimum three years commercial driving experience, preferably oil field driving experience. So there you go right there. Without any experience, you definitely couldn't haul for my company. Okay, so now let's say that you have your CDL and you have some experience and you're ready to go off on your own. You're ready to make a move, whether you're gonna buy some equipment as in a truck and a trailer, or you're gonna go start your own company as in get your own DOT, your own operating authority, your MC, all of your legal trucking stuff. So if you're gonna do that for yourself or if you're gonna lease on to a company, I am leased on to a company. Yes, I do have a DOT number and operating authority, insurances, blanket policies, and the whole, the whole nine yards covering me legally as a trucker through a company that I'm leased on with. So I own or operate and I'm, my truck is signed on to their company and they keep a portion of my run for doing all the paperwork, the billing, and all of that stuff. I just didn't show you guys my DOT and MC number in my previous video, but yes, I do have one. I have little signs that go in the truck. So I'm gonna let you guys decide and do your own research on leasing on or starting your own company. Um, so yeah, you're ready to get a truck and a trailer. Definitely do not get what I have here. Definitely 100% get at least a one ton. So a 3,500, preferably dual rear wheel. Any, any new truck has very, very good towing specs, um, especially gooseneck towing. Um, so yeah, get yourself a one-ton dual rear wheel truck, one of the new ones. Any one of the new ones are all pretty good, you know, Duramax, um, Cummins, or Power Shoke. I prefer the Power Shoke right now, but I am unbiased. I am unbiased. I like all the trucks, so don't destroy me in the comments. Then you're going to need a trailer. I, whenever I did my thing with my Ram, I went to the Gator factory in Kentucky and I purchased a Gator made 40 foot gooseneck with a five foot dovetail with the monster ramps. So the monster ramps flipped up on the five foot dovetail to give you a 40 foot flat deck. But honestly, I didn't use them one time. I bought it to have the versatility to maybe haul like equipment or tractors or trucks or vehicles or something like that. But I honestly never flipped the ramps down once but that's just for oil field use. So yeah, maybe get the dovetail. So then if you're gonna be, so then you're more versatile if the gas field collapses and you have to haul general freight. General freight meaning anything other than oil field and gas field equipment. And guys, if you're out there and you have better ideas, please comment in on the video and give your advice. Like I said, I am no professional advice giver. I'm just gonna give you guys my best advice on how to get started as a hot shot from my personal experiences. Um, so yeah, definitely get a 40 foot gooseneck, preferably something heavy duty, you know, you need tandem axles, you need probably, my Gator made was like a 24.9 GVW. I actually wish it was a little higher, um, especially now with the new trucks having a super high gooseneck towing spec so you can up the GVW on your trailer. Look for something in between a 25 GVW and a 30 GVW, depending on what kind of truck you get. You know, if you do a 3500, a 4500, or a 5500, so you guys can kind of do your own research on that. Okay, so now you've got your truck and your trailer and you're ready to get to work. Haul some General Freight. It's definitely gonna always be there. I know guys who run General Freight Hotshot stuff. They make six, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars a week. I mean, granted, they are running a lot. They are running full tilt. You know, they're, they're making it happen. So it is possible to make it happen, General Freight. Um, so that is the more safe and secure way to go. It's very hard to get into the oil field, especially if you are creating your own company. The big companies that you would haul for, their requirements are really strict and you need this and that and policies and umbrella policies and insurance policies and insurance policies for that insurance policy. So it's it's pretty crazy to start your own company and haul in the oil field. I got very, very lucky with my company. I started with my company in 2015. So that was several years ago. And, and I can tell you right now that they're not bringing on any more owner operators. So it's, it's very hard, but you're not going to you won't achieve it unless you're trying. So get into the industry, figure it out, see who's hauling what, call the companies, tell them what you do, tell them what you can offer them, and just try to get your foot in the door. Put your time in, learn it. The opportunity is there. It is just all up to you to make it happen. 
But that is it, guys. If you are not subscribed to the Modern Diesel family, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was any bit helpful. Like I said, I am not a professional advice giver. I just tried to do my best to give you guys some advice on how I kind of did it. I drove in the gas field for a long time, way before I started hot shotting. So get out there and make it happen. And keep in mind, do not put all your eggs in the oil field basket because if you do that, I promise you it will screw you over. But all right, guys, we got some snow. It is awesome outside, and I am getting ready to head to the house to eat some dinner because we are losing light, and it is late in the day. Stay tuned for more videos coming out soon. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace! Running through it with the young influence, adolescent presses, I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejected, but the moves are elusive, and I'm barely moving, but I'm still gonna boost them. I can't work on winners when I know you're losing, so I work the winners, and they throw the deuces. Guess I have to clip it, shooting no bazookas for the facts. I need racks, paper, cash, fuck a tax. That's a joke. Tell them.